What's up, my Toy Story toy fans? It's Toy Story Tuesday. I'm Toy Insanity and beyond. Check it. This video is for the Alien Remix versions of A Bug's Life characters from Funko. Got the brand new two-pack tuck and roll. The Hungarian pill bugs. As well as the only other one they've released so far... Dot, the baby ant. Now, if you followed the channel for any time, you know I have a, ah, I have a mixed relationship with a bug's life. And if you follow the channel for any time, you know that I have an affinity for insects. When I was a child, I did not like this movie because I liked insects, real world insects. So much. Always in nature. Always collecting cool bugs. <laughs> I just hated it. I hated it. Dude, I hated Four legged ants. That's it. That's basically it. And the fact that there's a baby ant instead of a larva. Okay? I'm not going to get into the, the, the graphic nature of true, true ant babies. All right. But, yeah, man, I've made peace with it, though. I've made peace with it because, actually, they rendered the other insects, well, all, 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 the, all the other insects have six legs, okay? But for some reason, I just hated it. I hated the way they did the ants. Anyway, this is Dot, baby ant. Funko has yet to do Flick or the Princess or any other characters. Of course, Hasbro. Oh my gosh, is it Hasbro or Mattel? Uh, the competing toy company has done Heimlich. But there it is. Three-eyed, Toy Story alien, the little green man wearing the costume of little baby Dot. Very cute. Very cool. Tuck and roll. The pill bugs. They act as cannonballs in the movie. They act as comic relief. What do they say? You're fired. They say, uh, charge. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. They're just funny. They're funny. And we got a two-pack. Target exclusive two-pack came out very recently, maybe one week ago. Tuck and roll. Tuck is on the left. Tuck has an open mouth. There you go. There you go. Even in this depiction, six legs. Very cool. Good job, Funko. Roll is on the right. And has a closed mouth. Very cute. I like them. I like these ones a lot. I hope they do. I hope they continue to do them. I don't. I frankly don't even care if they do the heroes because I don't like the ants. But yeah, let's do Hopper. Let's do an alien remix version of the ladybug. Oh, the ladybug's kind of my favorite. Tough little attitude. Who are you calling a lady? All right. I've made peace with this movie. It's actually pretty cool. All right. Tuck and roll. Tuck and roll. And dot. Oh, we get, we got to talk about these boxes, though. If you follow this channel for any time, you know I don't care or keep. I don't care about Funko Pop boxes. But I was noticing the insanity of this box art. What is going on, Funko? So Dot has been out for a while. The two-pack just dropped. And the two-packs aren't numbered. I'm not sure why they do that strategy. But look here. 749 Buzz. Arms at his side. 749 Buzz. Arms outstretched. And the eyes are different. 750 Dory. Kind of like position to the side. No eyes on the head, representing the costume that the alien is wearing. Dory, same number. Arms outstretched, not leaning, and there's eyes on the head. See, the thing is, these figures are already released. Are they making variants, or is this some kind of old prototype artwork? Because they're basically all different. The eyes and the arms, different on Carl. Eyes and arms, different on Carl. Dot, 
Arms outstretched. Eyes looking straight forward. Here, arms at the side. Eyes are looking up. I think Zerg is the same. Zerg, Zerg I might be the only one the same. Doug, arms at his side. Doug, arms outstretched. Russell, Russell might be the same. And Woody, so far they've only done a 10 inch Woody. Woody's the same. So one, two, three, four, five of these are shown completely different. Are they gonna be variants? It seems unusual that if they make sculptural variants that they would do the same number. I'm guessing somehow old prototype artwork slipped into the tuck and roll two pack. The Hungarian pill bugs, the isopods. But I love insects and I love pretty much all arthropods. What do you what do you call pill bugs? Roly polies? Do you call them isopods? And I think I think it varies regionally what you call those little critters under the leaf litter. All right, very cool, very sharp, happy to have them. Bugs Life, top five. Look, I'm telling you, I made peace with it. I like Bugs Life. It's top five Pixar franchises. <laughs> but will I get these other? Because if you follow the channel, you probably know I don't like Up. Can I make peace with Up? I mean, the only good thing about Up is, you know, the, the opening scene that everyone remembers. The rest of the plot is just ridiculous. <laughs> Will I get these others? All right. They made Dory. They haven't made Nemo. What is the deal? What is the deal? Bunko. And they've only made it. This is what it gives me. They've only made a 10-inch buzz. They haven't even made the regular buzz. I like to think of it as, uh, as a race. Friendly competition between Funko and the other guy to see what characters are we going to put out. Who is next? Do the ladybug. Do the ladybug. I'll be so happy. All right. Maybe this will look cool. I don't know. Sometimes I just don't know. <laughs> Alien Remix crossover event of the year. I'm so excited. Toy Story Alien. As you definitely know. It doesn't take much following of this channel to know that Alien, Toy Story, Alien, the little green man. Love them. Love them. Love the whole Alien remix concept. Very cool. <laughs> okay, thumbs up. Check the Toy Story playlist. Goodbye.